So we're around half an hour mark now and we haven't even gotten to the difficult parts yet. So <laughs> let's chug on. We need to deal with the jagged shoulders now. And as you can see, they are already poking through quite a lot here. And a little bit over here as well. And since we are in edit mode and I know fixing this is difficult, I think I'm going to lift it, the mesh a little bit here from the body because there's so much poking through going on there. Uh, I still have my proportional editing on, grab, and then I'm holding my shift because I only want to move a little bit here. But I need to move those two vertices. There. Okay, so that was a little bit of cheating <laughs> to fix this, but if I go to wireframe, um, It's not a ton that I lifted the mesh, I think this is okay. So we need to go to weight paint mode again. Um, but before I do anything, we have our settings set for fixing the ruffles right now. And if I go on to weight paint shoulders and stuff now, um, I am getting into some serious troubles because I have painting through set two on. And I have to turn that off right now or I will get in serious trouble. So in the fall of set to sphere and in advance set to front faces only. I also have the symmetry and uh, for some reason we reverted to the very annoying X symmetry again. We don't really want a lot of symmetry here uh, because we are working on tiny little poke throughs like when we did the top. So I'm going to just turn it completely off here. Um, and then we need to make sure we're not um, accidentally turning it on again. So if I have that arm selected right now, I know that there should be no influence down here and I have my weight at zero and strength doesn't matter. And I'm just paint a few times over here to make my little undo buffer. So if I undo once, I won't revert to something I don't want to here. Um, and then we're ready. And as you can see, it's not looking too bad here. I have a little issue here that I won't fix in weight paint mode actually. Um, I need to go to edit mode and then fix this plane because clearly it decided to bend on that diagonal and I want to, to bend on this diagonal. So uh, if I hit J, that's fixed. I have a tiny little one down here as well that's doing exactly the same and I can't really see what I'm doing so I need to go to wireframe and x-ray and if you see these uh, four vertices are creating that face that's bending on that diagonal instead of that diagonal so I need to capture that vertex and that vertex and then hitting J again so if I get out of out of wireframe now, those two are fixed and I will have the exact same issue over here, I think. Yeah, so I'm doing that here too. J, and I can't see what I'm doing here, so I have to go and f capture those two vertices in here and J again. Um, okay, so that was two fairly easy to fix poke throughs. Um, we're actually pretty good here, for now anyway. And I fixed the poke through here. I guess I could do the same over here. It depends, what does my wireframe say? Yeah, we are very close here. I think I'm going to do that here as well. Just lift it slightly, just a little bit. So G and then hold shift. I could have fixed this in weight paint mode if I wanted to fiddling around with bones here and there uh, to lift that part a little bit. But uh, when it's already poking through in this pose that mm, the avatar will be in most of the time, I will get in a lot of trouble when I start moving the arms up and down and forward and backward. So I might as well fix it as best I can right now. And then we'll play with the weight paint um, when we change the pose. And I guess that's now because it's fixed now. 
So select all bones, L R to get back to T pose. And we're going arms up now. So select that arm and then move up. Now, if I just move this all the way up, I'll get a lot of trouble. But also, it's not a very natural human pose, this. If we move our arms up, let me go to front view. <laughs> yes, we rotate that way. But when we get to around here, we also lift our shoulders. So if I want a somewhat realistic lifting arms to about touching fingers here, uh, I need to lift the shoulders too. And then, as you can see, we get a little bit of trouble here. Not as bad on this side as on the other side, but we need to fix stuff. The worst part is that vertex, which has just been pulled out of its place down here somewhere. So that's a real ugly spike, we call it. Um, we also have lack of geometry here to fix this part. There's a bit of the top poking through and a bit of the body poking through. Um, so we've got plenty of stuff to do to fix this. The bone we have selected right now doesn't influence anything, so everything turned pink. Um, but we have the clavicle to play with to fix this, and the chest bone to play with to fix this, and the upper arm bone to fix, and this one. And I can show you if I hold my shift and right click on a vertex, it will tell me that that's the four bones that's influencing me. So we have to find a balance between those four bones. But first, let's make it a little bit easier on ourselves because we need some geometry here. Back to edit mode. Um, and let me just do the J trick again, introducing a few uh, vertices and down here as well. There. That fixed that one. And let's do the same on this side because it's about this as bad here. So I think it was over here and then down there as well. So that fixed a little bit too. We still have a bit of poke through there and there. But else arms up are almost done. I don't see anything poke through there. Or, oh, a little bit here, but not much. But this one needs fixing. So while I'm here, I'm clicking on that one because I want to mask that one now. And then I go to weight paint mode. So I need to fix that. Uh, I'm not sure I want to use this bone. I think I'm going to try. Try fix. Which one should we go with? This one, perhaps. Because the area around here is quite green and that one's quite dark blue, so it might be this bone we need to work on. Let me mask here and then let's uh, not subtract, but let's try add a bit. Not strength a million, just a tiny little bit. That's not tiny, but it's not a lot. So let's try paint this down to where it should be. Oh, I'm not going to put more weight on it now because it's already a bit too much. Undo a bit. I'm trying to um, get the same shade as I have down here. So that's as far as I got with that bone. Let's try the chest bone. See, it's green down here, but here it's blue. So I think we can do the same here. Look at that. Yes. Possibly. Um, I would like it a little bit further down, but then I have to paint a lot on it. I'm not sure I want that. I'd rather keep the shade about the same as the vertices it should be next to. Um, so, so we tried to fix that one to shade about here and we try to fix the chest bone to a shade around there so our other choices are this one and as you can see it has a little bit too much influence here so let's try remove a bit here yes 
not bad. I'm not going to remove more though. Uh, but we have one more bone we can play with. That one. And it does have a little bit too much weight from that as well. So let's try and remove that. So this was a case of all four bones having to be um, fixed here. I think we're about where we can get it to. I could take a little bit of this one as well, just to keep the shade. So it is pulled out a little bit. I'm okay with that. <coughs> it's not something um, many would notice anyway. As long as nothing's poking through, it's okay, I think. It's a rare pose to be in this one, so I think this is okay. Even if a human did this, our clothes would make some funny stuff here because there's wrinkles under the arms and stuff. Um, so we have this poke through to fix now. Um, well, we can try, see what happens if we try take any weight off here. Not much happening. So it wasn't that boom. I suspect either this one or that one. Yep, that fixed it. Oh, we have a little issue here as well. That was a bit too much, but in general it was not wrong to take off a little bit of weight here. Like that, perhaps. And then perhaps add a bit here. Yep. Okay, so this arm is fixed. And we need to fix this one over here. Let's see. There's a little poke through there. And a little poke through there. And that's it. So, which bone to fix that? Let's try this one. We are adding at the moment. Actually, that's not too bad. And what happens if I add a little bit of chest bone action here? I'm adding, I think I should probably subtract a bit. Yes, I think that's fixed. Uh, what about up here? That worked. Now, I've been fiddling with the weights here, mostly under the arms. So I think we are good from the post down to the post up now. Still, I would like to test it. So let's reset the bones and then select the arm and go back to this pose just to check that we didn't miss something up here um, actually we did <laughs> a little bit here at the back it looks okay uh, here it doesn't so we did mess up a little bit and that's the dance of weight painting that you fix something in one place and then as you fix it you introduce an issue elsewhere so that's classic, actually. <laughs> um, this is the pose we you will have the avatar in normally. Um, but the fact that it's poking through now, I think I'm going to edit mode to fix this. Um, because if we can't fix it, so it's fixed in both places, then that's kind of our only way, as far as I know anyway, to fix this. And we have issues here as well. Mm. Let's see if those two can help us. Ah, 
Man, it's a lot of moving. Vertices here. But let's see if that's what enough. And I have to test it in the up post again. Um, to make sure I didn't mess something up there by doing this. Back to weight paint mode. Back to T-pose. Things are okay in T-pose. Um, front view. Move the arm only. Up and then shoulders as well. Up. Fingers meet there, about and it looks like we are okay here. So, yay! One milestone. Uh, we got things working for arms up and arms down. Let's save here <laughs> because we're only halfway through this. We need to test that it works on arms forward and backwards too. And look at my stupid spike here. Uh, hmm. I can move it in edit mode and it will get me nothing good. I wonder if this was one of those I was moving under the arm. I actually think it was. How annoying. So I need to move it back again. Back to weight painting. Check that what I did here didn't kill anything. did a little bit hmm okay well I can choose to force this plane on this diagonal but that won't help here <sighs> Okay, I guess this is going to work. Good. Now I save. So now we need to fix it going forward and backwards as well. So go to top view. Move the arm. And again, to get a somewhat natural movement, we are moving both the arm and the shoulders till hands meet about there and again we have a little bit of stuff to fix here there and on the other side is a few similar issues okay but exactly that spike here is kind of sort of behaving there's a bit here. I'm not sure I will deal with that. I might just leave it. But this one I want to fix. And these here. These here are clearly a bending face issue. Um, so I'm going to try to simply fix it by introducing an edge going that way. Mm, this down here though might be a white paint issue. Let's see if I have anything here that I need to fix with an edge. Not there. Oh, but perhaps here. Fixed. And that's a weight painting thing too. Um, weight paint. 
let's do this one first. So it looks fairly nice and evenly distributed here. So let's have a look at the other bones. Oh, this one I fixed earlier by removing a bit of weight. Uh, and that's not great in this pose. Hmm. I'm withdrawing here. Let's see what happens if I withdraw a little bit more. Fixed. I think, was that the only problem here? <laughs> Apparently. What if I... No. Leave that for now. Let's go to this side and see if I can fix anything in a similar way. Sort of. And I have a little bit of issue there. Um, I don't know, I can fix it here, but I'm not sure I will. Because it might give me issues when I go to attempt to bend the other way. But okay, let's leave it at that for now. Up here is fine. There is not fine. under the ruffle I think I will leave it there oh Okay, so we attempted to fix it here and it might have broken stuff in the other poses but we will see right now it looks right in the forward position as far as I can see so let's select all bones alt R and I'm going to test it I'm down position is Fine, I think. Yep, uh, arms up. Okay, tiny, 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 tiny issue here. Arms up is fine. So I think we're good. I fixed a little bit here, but I don't think it broke anything. So all we have to do now is arms back. So let's do that. Oops. Let's try for a somewhat human pose here. Till hands meet. Okay, we have an issue right there, bit there. Else, it's not too bad here. So, actually, this entire arm is fine. It's just over here we have a little bit of an issue. I guess if that might have been where I added a bit of influence yes so if I subtract here a bit it's coming no nope. okay good good but that's good so I can fix it in another way like not subtracting here perhaps adding yep 
here. Um, well, subtracting works a little bit. But I'm not sure if that's the only thing I have to do to fix that. Now it's okay. Okay, arms back. Okay, let's get back to T pose. Everything seems fine, even though I added a bit here and over here as well. Yes, let's try arms up. Tiny issue here again. I am going to fix that in edit mode. Apart from that, it's looking good. So, back to T-pose and then try arms down. All good, and that little vertex I moved a little bit, I don't see anything looking like a spike anyway. I'm not sure which which side is was on, but I don't see any poke through, that's good. So we tested arms up, arms down, arms back. So we need arms forward and then ugh, hopefully we're done with the shoulders. With a bit of luck anyway. All good there. Here's a little bit of poke through. Um, there's two. A little bit of poke through here I'm going to fix in edit mode. Because that is very little. I need to move anything. Um, there was that one. And there is a little bit in here too. but. Um, I'm going to ignore it. Yeah, definitely going to ignore it. Because it's under the ruffles. And you have to really come in to see it from a bit of an odd angle. So I'm going to leave that. And that means we are done with the shoulders, I think. This one's done. Yay, let's save. And also while we add it, let's let's make a safe copy again. Just the jacket. We haven't touched the shirt. Shift D. Jacket. Save what? Three. And I'm just moving it up to the safe copy parts here and turn it off. Okay, so we're ready to move on fixing the elbows. The elbows is a little bit easier to fix. Um, they're annoying because it's always a problem and there's not really a lot of options for fixing them because we're kind of missing a bone in Second Life Skeleton to control elbow action. And that means our only 
possible way of fixing elbows poking through in an area is pretty much moving the mesh. I mean, I can play with the weight painting, but it's never going to be good. It will always be an issue. So I'm not even going to attempt to fix it in weight paint. I'm just going to move the mesh. Um, because, well, we have weight paint in this area. But, yeah, I could try smooth it a bit here, but it's just, it's a mess. Um, I'm going to fix this in edit mode. So, here, and if I turn x-ray on, you can see I've actually already quite a lot of uh, space here, but it's just not enough. And it's easier to see if, if we go back here and attempt to move this arm. If we go to top view and move here. You can already see it happening here. Stuff is poking through. Mm. Now, part of this is caused because I don't have enough geometry here. So let me introduce uh, an H loop. Hello, Glinda, are you there? We're in object mode, I can't introduce anything. There we go. Um, here, that fixes a lot. And if I add one here as well, that also fixes a lot. And I can do that up here as well. See, that's supposedly fine now, except it's not. Um, because if we start rotating our arms a little bit, it's still going horribly wrong. So if I try rotate now, uh, you see, it's still poking through and yeah, we shouldn't be able to rotate in the elbow, but I'm pretty sure that's happening in Second Life animation. So um, to fix that is to pull out some vertices here and there to try and give a bit more room here. Uh, and it's a great idea to have proportional editing on now. So hit O. Okay, so we fixed something around the elbows. I'm sure we will find some poke throughs when we are bringing this to the beta grid. But for now, let's leave it at that. Uh, we need to have her bend a bit around the spine as well. Let's have a little break here. 